Yo, what's happening guys? It's Flo and I'm here with Sly and Sly, what do you think about this Kyrie Irving message about him essentially being in a birdcage and flying out? What do you think this means? Yeah, man, obviously he wants out, man. We're hearing a lot of reports out there that he just wants to go to the Lakers right now. And if he doesn't go this year, he's going to go next year. So it kind of puts a, a big burden on the Nets. You know, they got to get rid of him. And if he's saying that he's only going to go to the Lakers... We just we have a few pieces we could give up, and if that's all that we could give up, that's all we could give up, and there's nothing they could do about it, man. He wants out. He wants to go to the Lakers. It's got to happen. Uh, Palinka's got to do something, and I just think if we have our big three, the real big three, we've got a chance, man. This is it, man. I really didn't think it was going to happen about two, three months ago. I know Kyrie and LeBron had their issues, but now it looks like they've made up. Uh, Kyrie even said that he was younger back then. He's smarter now. He wants to win another chip. Let's go, baby. Let's get that 18th ring. Yeah, that was a big thing pretty much when they started amending their kind of broken relationship. I knew that the Lakers legit had a chance at this. And then Brooklyn Nets just started pushing all the wrong buttons. They were essentially throwing Kyrie under the bus for last season, saying how his vaccination status cost them and that he didn't really want to be there. And then you throw on the whole Kevin Durant thing about wanting to get out of there now. No way Kyrie wants to stay in Brooklyn by himself. James Harden up and left. Um, Durant's about to leave, and he's left with Ben Simmons, who plays, what, once every two years. Mm -hmm. So Kyrie, no way he wants to freaking waste the prime of his career because he's pretty much in his prime now, right? Yep. He, he's just been, turned 30. Yeah. He just turned 30. So this is the time that he's really going to peak as far as physically. Um, he's also way mentally sharper now. Like you said, he grew up. He no longer wants to be that main guy. He still be a huge piece, but he doesn't want to put the whole team on his back anymore. Like when he was younger, he kind of lost that cockiness. And I think now all he wants to do is win. And him, LeBron James, AD, that's a formula for a championship. And that's something we need in order to go up against the Warriors because the Warriors right now, they're the top dogs. But I think if we play them, we have the top three best guys. And it looks like we're starting to add to our depth besides losing Malik Monk. It looks like we're coming a little bit deeper. So I think this trade puts us in championship contention. Yeah. Yeah, man, obviously he's going to be out no matter what next year. But this year, like, he wants out. He wants with the Lakers. It might be, though, that thing. Remember when the uh, Spurs, they traded away Kawhi Leonard to the Raptors for the one year? Maybe there might be a team out there that might get a one-year rental for him. And then after that, he just takes off to the Lakers. I don't know. But, like, we've heard reports, like you said, Stephen A. Smith was talking about it, how next year he's going to be a Laker no matter what. But this year he might be on a rental for one team. I don't know who it's going to be. But hopefully it's the Lakers right now. We can finally get our big three in and finally take uh, that championship because we know that Durant he said he's out already Durant already said he's out so he's probably going to go either Spurs or Miami so a lot of these teams are making these power moves we saw what the Boston Celtics did today um, they got better so it's going to be interesting to see the Lakers got to make a move they got to do something if not we we'll have to wait another year and another year of misery so we'll see what happens man yeah the good thing though these players they have the power so if Kyrie really pushes it and I think the Lakers are legit on top of his list of places to go. I think we can make it happen this year. Obviously, the Lakers are going to have to give up something. What's it, what is it going to be? As long as it's not AD, I make that move. Obviously, we can't get rid of LeBron. But as long as we don't get rid of those two guys, we go push all the chips into the middle of the table. Go for Kyrie Irving. That gives us a shot. Yeah, but that's what we got, guys. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, what do you think this cryptic message means? Does he want out, or is it just uh, something outside of basketball? Let us know down below, guys. Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. Peace.